So, update, they playing with me in that leasing office, but that's okay, because one thing about me, I play too. Look. I'll do that, girl. I'll do this. I'll play jump rope. I'll jump in. Y'all wanna keep playing with me? Baby, I'ma play with you. And y'all not gonna like the game I play. <laughs> y'all not gonna like it. And what's so crazy is that it's hard for me to move my neck right now because I got a crick in my neck um, from how I was sleeping. It is me trying to like cover my head from that damn noise. Everything's because of that noise. I'm blaming everything on that noise. Anyway, I'm about to go. Okay, this person don't give a damn. I'm about to go um, to Nora's house because I just need to get out get away so not bringing my camera i'll see you girls when i get back in the house bye my name is kennedy and these hoes are really fucking with me <laughs> yeah you know where we left off was me talking my big boss shit you know i'm not standing for this yeah i got him yeah i did yeah that bitch they done got me <laughs> yeah i'm gonna keep it a thousand with you they done got me i done read the fine print <laughs> yeah and uh, unfortunately, you know, they can basically do whatever the fuck they want, you know, when it comes to this noise shit. Um, so today, today is Thursday. I actually have shit to do and I can't focus. I can't spend the entire day trying to handle this apartment shit. I have a shoot that I am going to, that I'm doing, this random shoot. That won't be seen anywhere. It's really a, like a favor, low key. Also just something to get my mind off of this. Like again, I was woken up this morning bright and early. And uh, yeah, I just think that that's what life is gonna be like in this apartment for the foreseeable future. And I have to decide whether or not I'm okay with that. And every morning, I'm not okay with that. Like during the day, I'm fine. See, if you don't hear a thing. Like it's literally just in the morning. There is an option to move to a spot not far for cheaper, but moving is really a bitch, you know? And one thing about me, I don't like to move. I was in my last spot for seven years. If I don't have to, I, I'm not gonna. But I am being tested right now with the have to. Like, low key, it's feeling like I, I kind of have to. Like, if I want the kind of peace that I want, I might have to move which is just like, it's so unfortunate because, you know, when you spend time in your spot, that's your spot. You can't imagine leaving your spot, especially when you had no intentions on leaving. So, it's really about making a decision and sticking with it. I looked, in at, a, I looked at an apartment today and it was nice. It's just significantly smaller than where I am. And it will require some adjusting, but also keep in mind that it's, a lot cheaper than where I am too. So like, it's not like I'm saying paying the same price for a smaller situation. The price would be reflective of the smaller situation, you know? But that situation is small. And I have a whole second bedroom, second bathroom that I really love having, you know, especially when I have guests over and stuff. I like that they don't use my bathroom. I like that my bathroom can look how it looks and I don't have to worry about people in my space. Like, there's a, there's comfort there in knowing that that bathroom is my bathroom. It's a lot of it's a lot of variables here that I have to like go through and decide what I want. Is it giving witch? I don't think it's giving witch. Okay, hold on. <sighs> okay, I'm on the way out. I'm wearing the same little uh, naked wardrobe set. Y'all have seen it before. Um, it gives a lot of body. And I just have on some little, my little Jordans. Um, bye. Please be right, please be right, please be right, please be right. Tell you, bitch. 
we looking by it so what was i gonna say oh yeah bitch I, i'll be the first to admit it because i'm gonna be the last one to forget it but i've been in here soaking yeah i've been in here soaking because one thing about it i don't really handle stress well stress to me is like really um what's it called oh i had to send the i don't really like you like that text he just hearted it i appreciate your honesty thanks in this to the group chat. Ooh. Girl. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> okay, so yeah, I've been soaking all day, bitch. And I'm soaking because I do not handle stress well. And not and by soaking, I just mean it's just like heavy on my on my chest. It's in my mind. You know, I try to do other things, but I'm still thinking about the fact that I have to make a decision. I have to decide something. And this is where I'm gonna create a boundary now between myself and y'all with this situation because it is becoming a bit too much. You know, people are giving me a lot of their opinions and I appreciate the help that I've asked for. But then, you know, you can't, you can't really, um, what's it called? You can't level that. Like, you know, you, you, you ask people a little something, they offer a little bit more. They ask a little bit more. Like, they, they do a little bit more. So, for my own sake, because I know me, for my sanity. Sanity? 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 Sanity. Bitch, for my own peace of mind, I'm going to create this boundary now where I don't need any more suggestions or advice on this. We're going to let it rest. And I'm going to move forward with it. And that's it. You feel me? Um... Day to day. Hold on, let me create this invoice. Cha-ching. Uh, yeah. So, just been in my head about this shit this, this afternoon, this evening, all day. It's been since this morning, since seven this morning, when I realized, damn, I really have to make a decision because this can't be my life. Yeah, I, I've just been thinking about it since then. And that does not lead for a life that I'm trying to live type shit. Like, bitch, I'm not trying to be thinking about this shit all damn day, every day. I'm not trying to wake up mad every day. I'm not trying to wake up annoyed. I'm not trying to be woken up every day. Like, at this point, y'all have heard it enough. Like, I feel like I've talked about this in, what, three vlogs? That's three weeks that y'all have heard about it. It was going on before then. Enough is enough, you know? Like, you know, look, look. All right, we got to draw the line somewhere. And so I'm drawing, I'm drawing the line here. And I'm gonna go ahead and make a motherfucking decision. Um, I'm gonna let this be the last day that I allow this to consume my mind and just lead with the understanding that I know that this is a decision that I have to make just like every other decision I have to make. I have to decide if I'm gonna go take my walk. I decide if I'm going to the gym. I decide what I'm gonna eat today. It's just another decision. And whichever decision I make, I will be okay. You know, I have to like, this is what I have to tell myself. This is what I have to tell myself. You do what you do and I'ma do what I do. And I know one thing I have to do for me today was grab one of them edibles. Bitch, and I ate it. Yeah, I needed that as soon as I got in the house. Came in here, something that I purchased online uh, came in the mail. It came wrong. And so it's just like, man, you know, when one thing go wrong and you focus on that thing, low key, but I do got some money on the line. But here's the thing, y'all. Money don't do it for me like that. Money, honestly, is a, a means to do. Like, it's, it's clearly necessary for like the life I wanna live and I welcome an abundance of bucks into my life. But it does not run me, it does not rule me, it is not the thing that's going to lead me to happiness. There's too much information, there's too many examples out there there are too many testimonies from people that have let us know money does not equal happiness and the thing about it is when you touch some money you know that for a fact and sometimes we got to experience that shit that's not to say that money don't bring you a little bit of happiness now now i'll be the first one to say money can and will bring you a little bit of happiness now because money creates ease and money allows for experiences that you don't get when you don't have it. So 
Okay, hold on. I'm sending this damn thing and I want to make sure I get it right. Give me my damn money. Hold on. How do I want this money? They can Venmo it. Wait, do I want Venmo? Yeah, give me Venmo. Give me Venmo. Do they tonight? Which is more than my name. Yeah, so, um, took an edible, sending this invoice, about to go wash my face, brush my teeth, get in the shower. It's not even 8.30 yet. Um, but I, I'm gonna go to sleep early. One, I'm tired because of the day. And two, because I really want to get all of my sleep. Like, I want to go to bed early so then when I am, unfortunately, woken up at 7 in the morning tomorrow, I will still feel rested, you know? Like, my body would have wanted to wake up at that time anyway. So I'm just trying to adjust to my life right now because fighting against it is not making me feel good. That's 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 all I got. Like I just want to feel good, and I know that what I'm currently doing isn't really what I'm doing. <laughs> the message, sorry. Huh? <sighs> Hello. Why is you even doing that, silly so? The message that I sent to the boy, I'm actually really proud of myself. Like I got straight to it. I said what I needed to say. It was very clear. It's just like, dang, bitches, you really out here like selling them like this? Like, is it really like you got room to be telling niggas now? Cause he is really cute, but he's just so not my type, guys, that it's just like, come on, you know? Like I catch my own reflection <laughs> and I'll just be looking at myself like, really, bitch? <laughs> so, Okay, what am I doing? I'm supposed to be doing, oh, check my in my name, bitch. A bitch might have ADHD while I'm over here playing. And then like, what was, what was that? <gasps> I'm gonna look back at this. <laughs> Ew. Also, can you hear the rasp in my voice? I really think I messed up my vocal cord the other day. Yeah, and I think because I didn't go on vocal rest, like I said I would. Like, I was talking just an hour later. I think that, not even an hour later, bitch, a minute later, um, I think that I actually, like, fucked something up. And I've been trying to sing, and my singing don't sound the same to me. Can, <clears throat> can this be true? Tell me, can this be real? I never thought that love could feel like this. Flat. Cause you changed my world with just one kiss. Flat, flat! How can it be that right here in me there's an angel? It's a miracle. It's a miracle. It's a miracle. Like that part. It's a miracle. What is this? Oh, because I sold that stuff. Not me having some money in, um, in Venmo. Excuse me. Send this to my account. Hold on. Let me, um, let me do this. So my name is Pop Wonderful Did It. I'm going to change that. And we're just going to download that. Okay. Um, yeah. So that's what I'm doing tonight, baby girl. I feel like, what's, it's about to be Thursday. Today is Thursday. Today is Thursday. Wow. I feel like, first of all, I'm thirsty as shit, but I am doing a great job on water. I will give myself a pat on the back about that. Oh yeah, I feel like so far I haven't really done much on the vlog. Um, take it easy on me, you know what I'm saying? Like, this is real life you're seeing, and in real life, bitch, I really haven't been doing anything because I'm trying to get my shit together. I really spent yesterday and the day before at friends' homes, um, over the weekend, I went to a friend's house, uh, and I'm not staying overnight, but just like spending time there, going over there, spending the day, having a girl's day, having a girl's lunch, having a girl's dinner, like that shit has been necessary for me. I feel like this year, I really, really, really recognize that spending time with my friends is a really big help for me. Like it's a stress reliever. It uh, is calming for me. It makes me feel good. Yeah, literally spending time with my friends and then being able to leave my friends. Like, I don't wanna be up under them. You know, I wanna be able to like have the time and then we go, 
yeah i just really realized how much spending time with friends really does um pour into me i get to laugh i get to talk to them about what they've got going on i get to talk about my stuff and talk about what's going on you know i like that i don't feel like i'm bothering my friends these days like there was a point in my life and there are points in my life where i feel like i'm bothering people so i won't tell them what's going on with me and i have to say like i do not feel that way like these days i feel very much welcomed and received and it's not so much like the friends that i've had because i've always had great friends it's just been about me like i'm allowing myself to be vulnerable and like you know allow people to help me and help doesn't just mean like oh you know i have to like do something it's not just like physical things or like acts of service in that way help is also just like emotional help you know like somebody who can support you through your thoughts or like even validate your thoughts or like you know whatever that whatever it is that you need in that moment like when i go and hang out with my friends i get that and it's necessary because it does do something to my mood i'm just talking about me it just does something to my mood and i want us all to experience that like i grew up with best friends always girlfriends and there are some women who've never had like a really close girlfriend and i think it's so important i really do and i want that for all of us girls we deserve to have sisterhood in our lives like you know specifically for black women like we deserve to have other black women who can relate to us and understand us and even if they're not black maybe they just share experiences that you share because y'all you know have worked in the same industry or y'all are both women of color or y'all are both in the same age group or y'all both married or y'all both have kids or y'all both single or y'all both grew up in a certain type of household structure or y'all both from the same city like whatever the fuck it is and i listed all those things because i have friends who i'm cool with and it's because of one of them things like those are my closest friends and it's because of something like that we went to work together or we're from the same city or we grew up in the same type of house structure you know what i'm saying like that type of shit we both the oldest sister like shit like that <gasps> don't ask Good morning, soul sister. It's so funny because in the beginning of this week, I really, why am I giving like smoker's mouth? In the beginning of this week, I really thought that I was going to be giving y'all like an aesthetic, you know, black girl vlog. I was really gonna try to do that. Bitch, please, ain't nothing aesthetically pleasing about having an attitude. And that's all I've had. So <laughs> we gonna put a pin in that one, cause yeah. I ain't even got it. Okay, we on the last leg of this glow screen. I'm trying to use it all before I really step into the unseen sunscreen. Also, the unseen sunscreen, like, oh, you don't even need that much. Like, why are you doing all this squeezing? You don't even need all that. Don't even like it like that. I heard that there is a glow screen that um, is meant for the melanated girls. So I will be trying that. Like, you really tried it. So. I relisted them and they sold last night. And that's how the game go. Hopefully whoever bought them know that that's how they gonna fit. Cause I surely didn't add any information. I just put them right back up on the site. Um, so I'm going to FedEx real quick to drop that off. Also y'all, I have been experiencing a cramp and I'm not trying to be funny. I really think that it is due to the stress of like this being woken up thing. Um, I ain't never had this issue before. Like, not to this extent. I've had a cramp before, but it's a cramp and I haven't even done anything. Like, it's when I start walking, I feel it. And it's like at, at, at the top part of my abdomen. And yeah, I'm just like, bitch, do I really have to go to the doctor? Like, that's what you're telling me? Like, a, a nigga really gotta go to the doctor? Like we're not gonna act like stress don't cause bodily, you know, bullshit. Cause it do. All right, what am I doing to this head? I think like I have to like just accept the fact that my hair likes to be washed more often now. Like that's not how it was back in the day, but bitch, it's a lot of shit that ain't the same from back in the day. Ain't the same from back in the day. But yeah, it's a lot of things that have changed from back in the day. So I just gotta focus on it now. But yeah, my my hair responds well to being washed often. 
like every four to five days my hair needs to be washed and it has everything to do with the amount of activity i'm doing for sure without a doubt it's just like dang you really like gotta wash your hair again i don't know it'd just be feeling foreign like to be washing my hair like legit every week i used to be able to stretch it two weeks but now i can't sit in the in the dirt of it all i'm just like has my head always been that dirty or have i just become less able to deal with the dirt i don't know yeah so running to the post office i also had something else i needed to send off so i'm gonna go take care of that i'm wearing this cute lady i'm wearing this cute set from 4ye it's giving waist and uh yeah very cozy well-made like sweats so yeah let me put on a little bit of jewelry just me a little bit of jewelry just a little bit can i put on a little bit of jewelry please Excuse me, just want to put on a little bit of jewellery. Pardon me. Would you mind letting me put on a little bit of jewellery? Pleasure. I'm going to be honest with you, that could go on for hours. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, I told y'all last night. I was about to say, did I tell y'all? I had to break it off with old boy. And the shit is just so like, hey, because now I ain't got nobody on my phone. <laughs> I could laugh so hard I'd start crying. Nah, yeah, nobody's on the roster, which is okay because I know that there was nobody who I was talking to that I wanted to keep talking to. And that's the point. Do I want these on? It's feeling like, mm-mm. I'm, I'm getting Sinbad. So excuse me. Just gonna put on the stud. Just put on the stud. I definitely be like having moods where I don't feel like wearing certain types of jewelry. Like lately, I haven't really been into like my really big hoops. I have been more into just like little huggy earrings. Lately, this has been the vibe. Just like a little stud or like some huggies. Okay, lips look like they're on ash, but I swear they're not. Okay. Well. See you girls when I get back. I mean, every now and again, you gotta go in the back of that closet and pull out your mama's tongue. Now, what's a mama's tongue? It's exactly what it sounds like. It is your mama's tongue. This morning, I went down to handle some business and it was playing with me and I had to pull out my mama's tongue. <laughs> she gets crazy sometimes. Oh, I just bought um, some Arden's Gardens. I only get the ones that say 100% juice on the side. They don't all, show this, they don't all say 100% juice, so pay attention to that. Some of them will be like 55% juice, 55% 55 juice, 77% juice. Like, get the one that say 100% juice. Like, if you're gonna do it, do it. I just felt like I needed a juice, you know, with this cramp. Like, I think I'm gonna do that cleanse I was talking about, where, I, what the? Cucumber, celery, apple juice, spinach, kale, ginger. Let me let me shake it up and let the apple get in there. Cause something's telling me the apple settled at the bottom. Hold on. All right. I guess this is just it. Oh. Okay. Also, I bought this. Uh, this micellar water. The girl's been talking about micellar water. I already know about micellar water. But, is this supposed to have a seal? Oh, it don't come off. Anyway, I got that. And I got like some big facial pads. Because I do want to slowly stop using makeup wipes. One, for the environment. Two, because the pulling and tugging on the skin isn't good. Three, sometimes the, the, the face wipes feel dry. Like, I'll get a pack every once in a while that's like super juicy, 
but sometimes you get a pack that's not that juicy and it'll just feel like, I don't know, not wet enough to like get things moving without you having to like really wipe your face. And I know over time that's not the best thing. So just trying something new, we gonna see. They have this one and a blue one and the blue one is for waterproof makeup. I don't wear waterproof anything. So I was like, I'll just go with this one. And the saying you don't gotta rinse it, but this won't be like the last step of my cleaning my skin. I'm using this to get the makeup off and then I'm washing my face. Some people can do this and they'll just use this and then they put their serum on and they do it. That ain't me. I wanna wipe that off. I was told to go down to this lady at 12. I know she's like gearing herself up, trying to be like as prepared as possible to tell me no. Ain't gonna be no no this go round. Yeah. Um, today's the day where it's like that, where it's just like, enough okay like i've been more than patient today i don't even want to tell you what they did this morning but it just proves my point that it is well in their ability to uh lower my rent and them saying no is just somebody choosing to say no not because they actually can't do it it's just somebody saying no and so we're gonna have to um let them know that no isn't an option at this point in the game i had to put my phone on the georgia so today's plans i've already been extremely productive and it's only 11 o'clock i went and returned well i went to fedex and sent off those two things i needed to send off and then what did i do i went out i read one page of my book um and i only got to one page because i had to fill my friends in on what was going on with that leasing office because I went to the lease, leasing office, that's what I did. Went to the leasing office um, and I have to go back at noon. And then hopefully I'm feeling better to take a walk. Like this cramp actually is uncomfortable to the point where I don't want to walk a long distance, which is my whole shebang. And so it's like, mm, I don't like that at all. We're gonna have to address that. Hopefully this will help. Other than that, I have no plans. Maybe I'll edit a little bit. Not much to edit, but I'll edit a little bit of what I have. And yeah, it's Friday, it's Friday. It's the end of the week and the last day. Y'all know where that come from, right? If you're from Atlanta, you absolutely know, but if you're not, um, that is a V103 legendary send off for the weekend. Okay, bye. Sunday, you know that we go get hacked. Shout out that camera, go pop, 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 pop. So actually, I'm in a much better mood than I was a few hours ago. I had to take some time to decompress, to process, to really realign myself with what I need in this moment. The conversation with um the lady in the leasing office did not go well at all i am so glad that i recorded it because she was straight up just lying in my face about things that i was saying and doing and it was just like wow it never ceases to amaze me the lengths a white woman will go to make herself the victim and to not take accountability i also have never been gaslit like that by a white person and so um yeah, it was just one of them days where I was just so extremely disappointed and frustrated because even through all my attempts to be, um, you know, as soft-spoken as I can be, um, to have minimal um, expression in an attempt to create a space that does not make her feel like I'm being aggressive or alarming or angry, all the things that they like to put on us anywhere, she still did it anyway. Which to me is like, you know what? I'ma just be who, I'ma just do what the fuck I need to do in the moment. Like all of this trying to tiptoe around a bitch so then she don't feel no type of way, I realize that it don't matter what I do, they still gonna find a way to try to make you the angry black woman. And um, yeah, so, we are looking at other options of places to move to because at this point, y'all don't deserve my money. So I'm gonna be looking at some other places and um, yeah, cause at this point, why am I giving y'all any of my money? You feel me? Like the thing about me is that I have a very, like I be attached to shit. And so I've created a little bit of an attachment to this space that I'm in. 
and the lifestyle that I've created for myself here. And I have to remind myself that I can do that in any space. I will do that. Um, it's not impossible. And I'm happy that I got to experience this. I've never experienced an apartment like this before. You know, I'm grateful for this. But this won't be the only time that I experience luxury and experience a nice place or experience a dream space for me. It just won't be. So I'm looking into a spot that has amenities that I'm interested in experiencing. And yeah, I'm just looking forward to a new beginning. So we'll see what happens. This is where I'm going to cut conversation about this off. It's just hard because I'm like, literally going through it right now so a lot of like what i'm dealing with in and out of this house has to deal with where the fuck i'm about to be living soon and also my interactions with these people in the process so yeah i'm gonna this will be the last time that i bring it up anyway i'm about to go outside i'm taking my top and knot and my little crackers i'm also taking this book this is the gift of presents I just feel like I need this today. Um, uh, I'm also gonna take my my journal, which isn't out here. But I'm gonna grab my journal and I'm just gonna sit outside and enjoy the rest of the day. Um, earlier, I was so mad, I was like shaking. Like, it was like that. Um, I was really, 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 really upset and frustrated. So I'm happy to at least feel um, like doing something else other than sitting in my thoughts and replaying this conversation over and over again. I am now ready to move forward. That's the thing, give yourself some time, girl. It's okay to be upset about shit. You don't gotta like, oh, I shouldn't be upset. Cause I was going through that too. Just like, fuck, like, you know, feeling like I shouldn't be giving it my time. But it's like, no, give yourself this time because it's valid. You done went through some shit and you're allowed to take a moment to process and to get it up off you. So I needed to do that, I didn't did it. And um, that's not to say that something won't trigger something that's gonna make that shit flare back up. But the thing is that bitch, I'm ready for love, if you ready for love, if you ready. <laughs> so yeah, um, I'm gonna run out and do all the things and I'll see y'all when I get back. I'm gonna throw them flowers out. You're done. You're done. It's a cereal kind of night. These ain't your mama's Cheerios. Mm -mm -mm. Today's that kind of day where this is what I'm eating for dinner. Period. My lunch was like not all that. I bought it from someplace. Who not all that at all. Good morning. <clears throat> Good afternoon. It might be morning though, actually. Actually, no, it might be afternoon because I got up late today. I got up at 11. Mm hmm. Mm-hmm. Made myself a little sandwich. Eating pickles straight out the jar because nobody eats this best me. But me. This is not a good batch though. They're all soft. Today's just gonna be a whole lot of this and laundry, folding stuff. This is a day in the house. I need it. Woo! My hair is wet. So you're gonna have to excuse me. I'm on the way out. Take a walk. I still have a crazy cramp, and it only happens when I start like walking for a little bit. Then all of a sudden, I feel this crazy cramp. So I'm gonna have to like actually look into this and see what's going on, and just stay hopeful that it's like a stress thing that will go away. I'm also about to go look at an apartment and see what it's looking like. I'm late. I'm supposed to be there right now. Actually, I made an appointment for now and 30 minutes from now. So basically I got him for the next hour. You just don't know it yet. Back to my no makeup, just brows and mascara vibe. For two reasons, one, I really have been liking my skin just bare. I'm having a great skin week, um, but also it's just like if I can not wear makeup, then I'm just gonna not wear it. I've always wanted to not feel like I had to put makeup on. So now that I feel that way and can walk confidently, and not because my skin is like the clearest skin you've ever seen, I just know how much better it is than it used to be, and I'm proud of my skin. So I also gotta run a few errands, so I'm gonna just do everything while I'm out. I'll see you when I get back. Bye. Do you love what you feel? Cause I love Off just 
come back from the grocer. Another element to my like looking for an apartment thing is that oh my god excuse me whole foods um another element is that i need my space to um encourage me to be creative and shit you know like i can't be in no like basic layout feeling situation like the apartments i went and looked at just now they were nice but they just, they lacked, you know, that special something. It was just like an apartment. So, I want that special something. I'm looking for that special something. And I feel like I can get that special something, honestly. I do. Look, these smell so good. Yeah. I really don't feel like doing this right now. I'm hungry. Did I eat today? Oh yeah, I made a sandwich, but I'm hungry right now. I did what I had to do. I did what I had to do. But we've got a balanced diet, okay? We balanced. Oh, these chips from Whole Foods, too good. They just the perfect plain chip made from olive oil and sea salt. Just yum. Nothing but a whole bunch of yum. Yeah, I'm gonna eat something because I'm feeling a bit delirious. What is it called when you like love helping your friends with their work but don't like doing your own? What is that? Self-sabotage? That should be what it's called. One thing about it, I don't never like doing my work. But when my friends need help, I be ready to clock in. No matter what it is, I'll do whatever if my friends need it. Me, please. I just don't have time. Oh, I got this cute little pan from TJ Maxx. These are my favorite non-stick pots, by the way. The tea fowl, tea fowl. Best non-stick pots that I've ever used. But I got this little one to like quickly make my eggs. Just something. Something that I saw at TJ Maxx that every time I go I see it and I'm like, I should get that. And I never do it this time. I was like, you know what? Just get it. So I got it. Just a little afternoon power snack. We got some mixed berries over here, mangoes, blackberries, blueberries, raspberries, some fresh eggs, and a piece of toast. Yum. Oh, and I'm eating it with chopsticks because it's just putting me in a good mood. Oh. Kennedy and I'm eating a scone. I got the hiccups. I live here, me up. Am I gonna be okay, guys? No. Somebody tell me right now, am I gonna be okay? 
I feel like I'm going crazy. I've got a little bit of blueberry jam, blueberry jam for the blueberry scone. Let's put a little bit of that there and then take a bite. Blueberry scones from Whole Foods. Air fry them for 10 minutes at 200 degrees. Buy this jam wherever you can find it or whatever blueberry jam you want or whatever jam you want. Eat it and then thank me. And I want my damn thank yous. Bitch, please. Like what right now? I can't even, oh, oh, oh no. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh wow, now that's good. Mm -hmm. So, I was planning on staying in the house, just, you know, quietly stepping around, meet me, tee tee, not doing too much of nothing. But I just got the call. I'll see you later. <laughs> Woo! Yeah, girl. One thing about me, I'm very excited to have a social life. Like, I was not that social in New York, and it's crazy because I have friends in New York, but going out in New York is not as easy, and you don't want to do all that. It's easy because you can hop on a train, ah, 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 but it's just like the hopping on a train and the ah, ah, ah. It's tiring. It's tiring. And like, I don't know. It's something about Atlanta. I don't know. It's something about Atlanta. That just makes me feel more like, oh yeah, I'm going, I'm going, I'm going, I'm going, I'm going, I'm going, I'm going. I'll be too ready to go, champ. So. Uh oh. Girl, I saw some yarn on the couch. I thought it was a bug. Cause I just, one of them little black beetles flew in here and I threw it out. I thought it came back in. You got me. You almost damn got me. Uh, I'll see y'all after I like get cute and stuff. Bye. So, hey girl. Let me just show you what I'm wearing. I got this little sweater. Uh literally over a decade ago. I bought it in black too. I know I don't feel like showing my stomach off. Like these pants are so tight that it's making me have like a little overflow. So I need something to cover that area up. And this is the perfect shirt for that because it still gives you a little um, lower back action. You know what I mean? So, and then these pants, who are these pants by? Oh, Rag and Bone. They're from Rag and Bone, but I can tell you that they are too small. They are a size 26, I'm a size 28. So it's squeezing every part of me. It's squeezing my butt in, but also it like puts a little cuff up under your butt, which creates a little lifting and really accentuates, you know, the roundness of the black bottom. I don't mind it being too tight. Also, these are bell bottoms. Can we bring bell bottoms back maybe? Like, it, the thing is, is that the top part has to fit right. So like, these are perfectly made jeans. You know what I mean? That just so happen to have a bell bottom. Ugh, ah, this is. Only thing I haven't sprayed on is perfume and that's cause I like to spray that on literally as I'm walking out the door. But I'm ready. Why is nobody cute? Oh, it is Sunday. So this is the uh, the end of the vlog. I don't think I'm gonna have anything to say when I get back, but who knows. But just in case I don't, girl, it's been fun. This week was a bit of a doozy, wasn't it? I don't even know what all I captured this week. And I know I say that every week, but this week I really don't know, like, I don't know. So, yeah. Let's hope that next week, let's hope that next week um, things go hella smoothly. See, I feel like this Uber driver's gonna cancel cause she moving hella fucking slow. The other day I called an Uber and the Uber driver, I just saw his car like pause. 
And it stayed like that for like five minutes. And so I'm like, mm-mm. I, I wrote him like, are you okay? He don't write back. He comes speeding around like 10 minutes later. And I said, yeah, 10 minutes. The only reason why I didn't call another one is because a few Ubers had already canceled. He comes speeding around talking about, oh, sorry, I had to use the bathroom. <laughs> and I get it. I have to use the bathroom too every once and again. Why the hell did you take this ride if you knew you needed to get out and boo-boo? Anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and head downstairs and see what outside feels like. I'll see y'all. Bye.